Well, your Christmas tree might be a little smaller this year. That's if you're lucky enough to find one, especially when you really like. Yes, I told you the one we bought last right. night was smaller and it was about 40% more. more expensive yeah. than usual. Well, this year inflation and harvest issues are leading to a smaller crop. Nick Neville is at Price's Tree Farm in Lexington, which has been selling trees in the Midlands for about four decades. And this year, Nick, they say the shortage goes beyond inflation. Yes, absolutely, Dondi, Judy. So Brian Price, who owns this farm, says the shortage is really because the Fraser firs don't grow in South Carolina and suppliers really weren't planting that many of them in recent years because demand was low. Demand is now higher than ever and there simply aren't enough of these trees to go around. As many Midlands families search for the perfect Christmas tree this holiday season, they're doing so with fewer to choose from. And the shortage of trees has some local sellers saying bah humbug. The fact that we have Christmas trees at all is because we're supplying our own stock. Um, if we were a third party vendor trying to buy wholesale, it would just not be possible because there aren't enough trees available. Brian Price of Price's Tree Farm in Lexington buys his Fraser Furs wholesale, but these days it comes with a steep price tag. I mean, I'm paying double, just say for a seven, eight tree, a certain size tree. Price has doubled what I was paying just a few years ago. Rising costs of fertilizer and fuel are affecting the bottom line too. We've tried to hold the line as much as possible, but we're having to pass some of it on just to be able to make do. But Sandy Arario says she doesn't mind paying a little extra to keep up with her traditions. My husband and I were talking about getting an artificial tree, but Christmas is the real tree, the smell of the tree. It's just, we, we just can't go with artificial quite yet. So we will be in search of a Christmas tree, a live Christmas tree, as long as we can. Now, if you haven't picked out the perfect Christmas tree just yet, you may want to act fast. Price says that he typically sells out of all his inventory around December 18th. This year, though, he expects that all these trees will probably be gone a week earlier than that. Reporting in Lexington, Nick Neville, WIS News 10. Nick, thank you so much. And due to the shortage of trees, another local farm, Henson's Christmas Trees in Camden, announced that they are not going to be opening this Christmas season. Hmm.